putting their heads together to exchange on joint military exercises, economic alliances, regional stability and climate change. But above all, the Quad's goal is to present a unified front towards China. The Tokyo meeting was a chance for newly elected Anthony Albanese to reaffirm Australia's commitment. The new Australian government's priorities align with the Quad agenda, taking action on climate change, and building a stronger and more resilient Indo-Pacific region. Created after the 2004 tsunami as a loose partnership between the U.S., Australia, India and Japan, the Quadrilateral Security Dialogue was formalized in 2007, but it lied dormant for a decade until 2017, when, with changing attitudes towards China's influence, it was resurrected. Since then, the Quad has gained clout and momentum. At the Quad level, we encourage a free, open and inclusive Indo-Pacific region. It is the shared goal. India's refusal to condemn Russia for the war in Ukraine, though, has created tensions. Under such difficult conditions, we need to be united and show solidarity among the four countries. There is some acknowledgement now, though, of India's dependence on Russia for military equipment for its own defenses towards neighbors like China. And this has helped the group get past certain divisions over Ukraine. And it's allowed them to work further towards being a counterweight to assertive military actions by Beijing. So the Quad has a lot of work ahead of us. It's uh, the fact of the matter is that we have a lot of work to do, keeping this region peaceful and stable. The issue of Taiwan has loomed large over the meeting. In the case of a Chinese invasion, Biden said that the U.S. would intervene militarily. But with reporters asking if that's akin to a policy change, the president reaffirmed the U.S.'s so-called strategic ambiguity stance, saying that it still stands in regard to the self-ruled island.